Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of October. It is a general reading, so that being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, also, even though I am reading out to October, please know that you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Let us begin, beginning at the heart of the reading. We have the Eight of Love and this Eight of Pentacles. What I feel is, um, <clears throat> if I look to the surrounding cards here, um, something was revealed to you that might have shocked you that would have uh, caused you to suspect uh, someone, even to feel uh, like you might be uh, a victim in this, in whatever's happening here. Now, um, it could be that you suspect they don't have the best of intentions. Um, you're seeking information, so you don't have all of the information. That book is closed currently. Um, so you're looking at the little details. You're suddenly taking a closer look at this person. Now, this person could be anyone. They could be, it could be an ex who wants back in. It could be your current partner. It could be somebody who uh, who uh, you have an attraction to who has uh, shown an interest in dating you. You see, this is somebody who's offering you that cup and you have doubts and suspicions about what exactly is in that cup. So you are uncertain about whether or not you should take it. Whether that's an ex, um, whether that's a, a current partner who may be apologizing and wanting, um, wanting you to forgive them, give them another chance. There's something about this person that suddenly makes you stop in your tracks and take a deeper look at them. So they may not be who you uh, first thought they were or who you, um, who you initially thought they were. You may now uh, suspect deception, that they're trying to get away with something. Um, it could be that you uh, are frustrated um, it could be it could be that you're in that position of frustration uh, because you're not getting the information you need because um, they have armor on. So maybe if you are inquiring or trying to get information uh, from them, you're not getting what you need. This is a... Uh, you're frustrated with regards to somebody's interest in you and the lighting of that flame, um, where it's going. Here, there's suspicions about somebody who you initially thought was, uh, was reliable, 
that there could have possibly be or have been a commitment from that person. That uh, perception is being transformed by something that has happened externally that has uh, it just caused a bunch of cracks in a foundation you originally thought was solid. Put it that way. Now, the road ahead um, looks like it could be difficult um, here for some it may be that uh, the journey has been long and maybe has been difficult and maybe there has been a lot of frustrations um, when it came to this person's interest. Maybe sometimes uh, you thought they were and then other times it was like they weren't. And that could be what has made you suspicious. Um, but you want to do the right thing and you're trying to look at this logically. You're trying uh, to find the answers. Um, it feels like um, you're being or trying to be very patient about getting those answers. It's like, it's almost like it, you're being blocked. Yeah. So whoever this person is you're dealing with, they're very, very clever. Now, even me, myself, I feel there's deception here because I have these two seven of swords and I have justice looking here at that seven of swords and I have that ten of swords here. I have the two of wisdom down here. This is somebody double dealing. So I feel that the intuition is right on the money. I feel that something uh, happened to make you suspect, but I feel like the, the person is really clever in uh, covering up the tracks. And now you've got this gut feeling based upon uh, something that happened that said, whoa, wait a minute, take another look. So in our overall energies here, Seven of Swords and the Justice card. So justice is about truth and honesty and accountability and explanation, um, possible um, an apology, a decision. But in this case, I feel the sword cuts through illusions and falsehoods uh, and allows for that honest assessment um, to be made so that, you know, justice uh, can occur. You don't want to have any regrets, right? And right now, you think that you might have those regrets. You don't have any, anything positive in the moment. But I don't think that you're going to um, what I feel is um, you're going to follow that gut feeling. You're not going to push it aside. Because uh, of the fool who, uh, the fool, I mean, he, um, he bends down to smell the rose and he is uh, quite oblivious to all the dangers that would 
surround the action of uh, actually uh, picking the rose or taking the rose into his hand, you know. Um, I feel that whoever uh, this is for, that you're not going to be naive, you know, um, that you are quite aware of the dangers that surround the action. Um, of You're quite aware of the danger of uh, having your head up in the clouds, of not being grounded. Because then the wolf can cross the boundary if you do that. If you, if you uh, don't pay attention to the signs, the wolf will most definitely cross that boundary. So the fact that the wolf is here and the way the cards have fallen it feels like um, it feels like you feel you will be this person's victim, and most likely you have been selected with the wolf because the wolf they select their victims. But I feel like you're on to them. There's an inner knowing here that this person, even though you don't have tangible proof, there's an inner knowing that this person is, albeit very clever, they are double dealing. And you don't want to have any regret and you do not want to end up with those swords in your back. I feel like, oh yeah, see, Ace of Swords is next. This is going to be the end of the road for you because you just cannot put that feeling aside that somebody um, is going to deceive you, that somebody has bad intentions and you do not intend to become their victim and for some of you, if this is an ex, then you do not want to become their victim again, you know, if you know what I mean. So, um, you're doing everything right. You're using logic, okay? You're not going to let the emotions here sway you. You are using logic. You are trusting in your intuition. Um, and I truly feel that you're right on the money. That your intuition is not steering you wrong. I feel that whoever this is, like I said, they're very clever, but they are not going to pull the wool over your eyes. Okay, they are not. Nope, because she can see the truth. And she has her sword at the ready. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.